Good morning, brothers and sisters. Just spent two weeks in the desert praying and fasting. Not making any YouTube videos, but I'm back. And I have a powerful word from God for many of us, many of you. Uh, it spoke to my heart, and I hope it speaks to your heart. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick this up. Right here in Matthew 25, verse 41 and 47. This is Jesus. This is Jesus talking right here, okay? And he's talking about, he's talking about hell. And he's talking about it's a real place. And he mentions it. And he says uh, in verse 41, he said, Then he will also say to those on the left, Depart from me, you cursed into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Then you drop down to verse, uh, verse 46. And these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Whew, man, let's jump over to Mark 9. Mark chapter 9. Verse 43 through 48. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It's better to be maimed rather than having two hands and go into hell, into fire that shall never be quenched. Where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. Because it's better to be lame than to have two feet and to be cast into hell into the fire that shall never be quenched, where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. And it goes on and says the same thing about your eye. Pop it out, because better to be made than going to hell where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Okay, now jump over with me to Romans 8 or don't. You can just listen. Romans 8, 5 through 17. This is a word. A word from the Lord. This is what he wants people to hear. The YouTube channel is not big, but if you're here, you're here for a reason. You're here because God wants you here, okay? Romans 5, 5 through 17. I don't know how you got here, but please listen to this message. I believe everyone who's here is here for a reason. For those who live according to the flesh, set their minds on things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit, they set their minds on things of the Spirit. For to be car carnally minded is death, but to be spirally, spiritually minded is life and peace. Let me stop there. There is something so peaceful and reassuring and magnificent about being right with your Creator. It's just a, a sense of I am right with Almighty God. Like, you know when you're in the darkness. You know when you're living in the darkness. And likewise, you know when you're living in the light. Oh, how good it is to be right with your Creator. To know that you're living a righteous life. And God did not come to condemn you when you're caught and trapped in your sin. He came to free you from your sin. He wants to get you on the right path and on the right track. This message is about repentance. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. God wants to welcome you into his kingdom. God wants to be right with you. You are his son. You are his daughter. You are his child. You're, many of us have been estranged. We've backslidden. Or we don't really know him and never really knew him like we, you know, we might claim to be a, a Christian, but never really knew him, never really had a relationship. Now is the time, my brother and sisters. Time is short. Prophecy that has been prophesied for thousands of years is being fulfilled right this very moment before our eyes. The peace treaty that starts the seven-year uh, tribulation, that's coming. The third temple will be built. Damascus, a pile of rubble. All these things are happening before our eyes. Please get right with God. He loves you. He's your father, creator. He wants you to come home. 
so he can put a ring around you, put a robe on you, put a crown on your head, wrap his arms around you and say, daughter, son, I've been waiting for you. You made it. I love you. It's almost, it's like I tell people, it's like musical chairs, man. People are singing and dancing and eating and drinking and partying. But when that music stops and that horn is blown and Jesus comes with all of his angels, comes down, all the world will see him at one time. The entire earth will look up and see Jesus coming back. And it's too late. The music's over. The party's over. And you will go to one of two places, to eternal life or eternal damnation. Okay, let me finish reading here. The carnal mind is enmity with God, against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So then those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit of life because of righteousness. I just want to stop there. And that's if you're led by your fleshly desires. We're all sinners. We're all going to stumble. We're all going to trip. But did you trip and sin or are you living in the sin? You know, Jesus they Jesus caught they the Pharisees caught a woman in the very act of adultery. She committed an act of adultery. And they said, Jesus, what do we do with her? The law says we should stone her to death. And Jesus said, Okay, well then go ahead, stone her to death. Whichever one of you is without sin, go ahead and cast the first stone. That's the love of God, man. He loves you. He doesn't want to stone you. He doesn't want you to die. All the men dropped their stones one by one. It's the Bible records from the oldest to the youngest. Drops their stones and walk away. And he looks up and says, woman, where are your accusers? And she says, they've all left. And he said, woman, your sins are forgiven. Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more, guys. If you're trapped in sin, if it's drugs, I don't care if it's prostitution. I don't care lustful sins. We're in a hypersexualized everywhere. You can't get away from it. TV, radio, movies, everything. It's all about sex, man. But we that's, that's the carnal mind. To be led by the carnal mind will lead you to death. The payment for sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Turn from your sin. My message right now to you from God, from God is what is keeping you from your relationship with God? What on earth in this life is so valuable so as to trade this life and receive eternal damnation in hell where the fire does is not quenched. The worms never stop eating you. The demons never stop tormenting you. There's a story that Jesus says about a man who's in hell and he just begs, begs for Abraham to lick his finger and just to touch him with it because he's in such torment. And that is for eternity, guys. There is nothing worth losing heaven for. There's nothing on this earth that is worth it to lose your eternal gift from God, your eternal place in heaven, and to spend eternity in hell. Please, guys, hear this. Turn from your sin and all of heaven will rejoice and welcome you in to the kingdom of heaven. You'll be covered by the blood of Jesus and sealed by the blood of Jesus. And you'll be right with your maker. Let me just finish right here, okay?
But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit put to death the deeds of the body and you will live for as many as are led by the spirit of God, these are the children of God. Who are you going to obey? Who do you obey? Do you obey your flesh? Do you let your flesh rule over you and lead you to hell? Or are you going to be led by the spirit and be saved? Okay, we've got a few, two more, three more verses. For you did not receive a spirit of bondage again to fear, again to sin, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom which we cry out, Abba, Father, the spirit of adoption. You become adopted by Almighty God. Verse 16, this is Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Verse 17, and if children, then heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. For I consider that the, this is verse 18, last verse. For I consider that the suffering of this present times uh, are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Man, giving up the alcohol, which I've had to do, giving up the drugs, giving up the sex, giving up the cursing, giving up the things that your flesh craves. Because it says here, your fleshly body is enmity with God and you're led by the flesh, you will die. Put away the deeds of the flesh. Be led by the Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will quicken your mortal bodies. It'll give life to your mortal bodies. I can go on and on. Uh, I'm going to stop here. Just please think about it. What on earth? Is it the drugs, the alcohol, the sex? What on this life is worth losing your place in heaven to give up your adoption by Almighty God, to give up your kingdom heirship, to be an heir, a joint heir with Almighty Jesus Christ? What on this earth is worth giving that up? I would say nothing, and I hope you agree. Please repent right now. Just say, God, forgive me. I've been trapped in this sin. I've been trapped in this life. Please have mercy on me. I don't want to be led by the sins of my flesh. I don't care if it's a girlfriend. I don't care if it's a boyfriend, a mother, a father. I don't care what happened 20 years ago. I want to be led by you. I want to have a relationship with you, Lord Jesus. Show me how to do that. Speak to me. I'm going to read your word and let your Holy Spirit come alive. Let your word come alive by your Holy Spirit. Let us have a relationship. Let me know that I'll be saved and spend eternal life with you. Let your plan and your purpose for me come to pass. In Jesus' name, I make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name. God, I, I hope this message reached you guys. God wanted me to deliver this message, and I hope it reached you. I'm going to be praying for you guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, click the like button. If you want more videos, if you want to uh, subscribe, subscribe. I appreciate it. God bless you all. I hope to see you all in heaven. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we're one body in Christ. Brothers and sisters, I love you. God bless you. If you need to reach me, my email's in the description. If you want to make a donation, my uh, cash app is in there. God bless you.